first way I'd like to show you is called partial quotients. And this is how you set it up, okay? This should look familiar, it's just division notation. The one thing that you might not be used to is just kind of drawing this line down here like this, okay? This is how every partial quotient solution is uh, set up. And if you want, you can kind of follow along by doing what I'm doing up on the board on your piece of paper in front of you. Okay, might be a good idea. So in partial quotients, it's really a process of estimating. I have 87 of something, maybe marbles. We've talked about marbles. And I'm sharing them with seven people or I want to put them in seven groups. Okay? So what I need to do is begin dividing 87 by 7. So in partial quotients, it's a matter of estimating. I want to figure out how many sevens can I get out of 87. When you're doing partial quotients, it's helpful to use numbers that are very familiar. Is 10 times 7 pretty familiar? Yeah, it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and guess right now 10 sevens. I think I can take 10 sevens out of 87. So I write my 10 over here, okay? And then I multiply 10 times 7 because 10 sevens is 10 times 7. I know that 10 times 7 is 70. Now I have to subtract my 70 from my pile of 87. 7 minus 0 is 7, and 8 minus 7 is 1. I have 17 marbles left, okay? How many sevens can I take out of 17 marbles? Well, I know my times facts. 1 times 7 is 7. 2 times 7 is 14. 3 times 7 is 21. I don't have 21 marbles left, but I do have 14 marbles left, so I'm going to take two more sevens out, which is a total of 14 because 2 times 7 is 14. I've got three marbles left. Now, since three is less than seven, I know that I'm done dividing. I can't make another group of seven. So then, now that I've, I've got all this up here, what is the answer? What is the answer? Well, the answer is I took 10 sevens out first, then I took two sevens out. So I need to put those together or add them. It makes a total of 12 sevens that I took out. And I have a remainder of three. Or three marbles left over. So that is partial quotients. That is partial quotients. So now you've got one way. And you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and and kind of leave this up on the screen so that you can think about it. And maybe this is how you're going to want to divide in the future. When I was in fourth grade, children, I learned to do long division. Okay? Long division is a series of steps where you sort of take 87 apart, okay, and you look at each place value all on its own. Okay, in long division, you ask a question. You ask, how many sevens, or how many times does seven go into eight? And what that means is that you're taking the number eight and dividing it by seven. Okay, if I have eight marbles, how many times can I take seven out? Brayton? One. one time. So I place the one above the eight, which is what I'm dividing right now. Then I multiply one times seven and put it underneath the eight and subtract. I have one left after I've divided the seven and taken the seven out. Then I need to bring down the next place value and place it next to the one I had left. 
I now have 17 marbles left. How many times can I pull 7 out of 17? Or how many times does 7 go into 17? Gabriella? Two times. So I place the 2 above the 7, and I multiply 2 times 7, which is 14. And I subtract to find my remainder. 17 minus 14 is 3. So I get the same answer, 12 remainder 3. That's how to divide using long division. I'm going to group this and keep it up on the screen for you so you can think about, is that how I want to be dividing? Is that how I want to do it? Now the third way is called short division. Short division is a lot like long division. You just don't write as much stuff down. Okay? So you start by asking the same question you do in long division. You ask, how many times does 7 go into 8? You say 1, and then there's 1 left over. You put that between the 8 and the 7, and then you look here and you've got 17. So when you ask, how many times does 7 go into 17? The answer is 2 with 3 left over. Okay? Now, short division, you can see how quickly you can do a, a division problem with short division. You've got to be careful, and you have to make sure you can do all these steps in your head. You need to know your times facts, and you need to be able to subtract in your head. Because how did I get 1 left over? Well, I took, a, I took 7 away from 8, and there was 1 left over. How did I get 3 left over? I took 14 away from 17, and I had 3 left over. So that's short division. Short division is nice and quick, but since you're doing it in your head, uh, there, is, there are opportunities for errors. Okay? Short division, long division, and partial quotients. Those are your th three ways to divide. Your job is to pick which way makes sense to you and use it successfully every time.